Ever wondered how your microwave actually cooks your food? It's a pretty complicated process, but we've tried to explain it more simply. Understanding your microwave a bit better may help you when deciding what to put in it. When you press the start button on your microwave, electricity is converted into microwaves using a device called a magnetron. These microwaves then make their way into the cavity where they bounce around and reflect off of the walls and door. They can travel through some containers and find their way to the food itself. Once they reach it, they're absorbed by the water molecules within whatever delicious dish you're cooking. This causes the water molecules in the food to vibrate. This movement creates friction, which results in the heat energy that cooks the food. Microwaves are not only absorbed by the water in the food, but also by fat and sugar molecules. This means that foods that are high in either fat, sugar or both will cook a lot more quickly. They can get very hot in a very short space of time and remain so after the microwave finishes. You should take care when heating foods that are high in fats and sugar, as the food may get hot enough to burn. with a turntable, the microwaves enter the cavity where your food is from one side. To ensure even cooking, the turntable rotates your food through the microwave energy. A flatbed microwave, however, doesn't move the food at all. Instead, the microwave energy is rotated and enters the cavity from underneath the food. As a flatbed microwave doesn't have a turntable, it means there is much more cooking space for larger dishes. Where a standard microwaves repeatedly turn the power on and off during cooking for lower power settings, microwaves with inverter technology provide a constant level of power for different power level settings. Inverter technology makes sure that food is cooked consistently, even on lower settings. So remember, a few questions to ask yourself before pressing the start button. Is the food I'm putting in high in fat or sugar? If it is, take extra care. Does the food contain water? If it doesn't contain a lot of water, you may want to reduce the power to a low setting. And finally, what container am I using? Ensure only to use microwavable containers. Please refer to your instruction manual. If you have any questions regarding your Panasonic microwave, our customer service team are always on hand to help.